Well, I've just woken up to this. Look at that, straight out of door. Sunrise over the ocean. That is incredible. And we've got the big cliffs over there, IFAC, one of the one of the climbs you can do just around the coast there, but this is just beautiful. The sun is just popping up. What a treat. So we're just figuring out what to do for the day. We've just finished breakfast and we have a few stars on our Google Maps. That's usually how we plan and research a trip. We kind of just fill up our map with loads of stars. So we get loads of stars on our Google Maps and then we kind of just go somewhere nearby where we can sleep for the night. That's what we did last night and we've got a few different options for this morning. Um, we're kind of using the weather as a bit of a determination on what we do because we want to do a hike. We also want to go to a waterfall. Um, and we're, it's going to be a very hot day, so we're thinking maybe the waterfall is the option But yeah, we're just planning what to do while we enjoy this nice breakfast view We have made our decision we are going to go to the waterfalls It's the hottest Ooh. day of the next few days while we're in Costa Blanca with the van So we're going to make the most of this weather. It's about 25 degrees today So we might uh, go to waterfalls today. We'll see what we do for the rest of the day We need to go shopping, we need to fill our water, empty our tank and I want to do a hike. And Corey wants to do a hike. At some point, we'll see. Maybe it's better to hold that off until another morning because hiking in the afternoon can be pretty hard. Can be pretty hard going. But yeah, very excited. Let's go jump in some pools. Here, this is a quite a popular tourist destination, it seems. There's a lot of restaurants, um, heaps of different parking options. And a lot of the restaurants say free parking, free parking outside, but you have to actually buy something in the restaurant. We're not planning to go to the restaurant, so we're just looking for the free parking uh, for the public. All right, we are adventure ready. Let's not forget the keys. We are gonna go check out some waterfalls. Quite excited. It's one of the main things to do if you want to take a day trip out of the coast. So we're quite near to Benidorm, for example. This is a very good place to come. There's also a lot of things here to do. Loads of restaurants. There's a dino world. So if you've got kids, bring them here. We're just gonna go check out the waterfalls. It's a walking circuit and places to swim. before the sun reaches this point so I think we're just going to go and keep ourselves entertained up that way and walk the route so the first section seems to be very accessible some very easy to follow paths and then as you get further in it goes a little bit tricky you kind of like stepping on stones if you don't mind getting your feet wet it's a lot easier I'm trying to keep mine dry but I think at this point they're gonna get wet I've just been th for a swim through this little crevasse here. It is so beautiful. The water is actually not that cold. I thought it was going to be a lot colder than that coming from the mountains. But we did send the drone up. We got some cool aerial shots. And I think there's actually a water power station, a hydro, a hydro station just further up the gorge. Uh, we can see some power lines coming over. But I think now we're going to go back to the start because I did see there was some sunlight coming onto the bit where we first entered this whole waterfall area. Well, look at that. We have some glorious, glorious sunshine now. And um, yeah, light is starting to hit the water. Just on some certain parts, little pools and stuff. Charlotte looks like she's found a good spot. The sun's coming out, but I guess you just have to... 
<laughs> These shoes are very slippy. The sun's coming out, but I guess you just have to time your trip probably towards midday but even so there's some big mountains there i'm not sure how much we'll get in the sun but i think definitely the front part will i think if you came here in the middle of summer though the sun would be right up here and just absolutely bathing this whole uh, river in sunlight so if you are planning a trip in summer this is definitely on the list even now though it is lovely it is warm enough and the sun is beautifully warm well isn't this nice we thought we'd take the opportunity to sit in the sunshine and have a little picnic of fruit. We need to go shopping soon. Woo. What do you think? Well, that was very, very enjoyable. Very really magical. Got her in, finally. <laughs> I just wanted to wait for the sunshine so it could be more magic, and it was. We waited a long time, but it was worth it. Well um, worth the wait. And this only costs four euros per person. I think under freeze are free, but for four euros you can have such a fun day out. There's loads of restaurants nearby too. Very seven here. Yeah, there's loads of restaurants that you can go and enjoy afterwards, but we are due at a grocery shop, so we may go find a carrefour. <laughs> Made it. Yeah, so we've got change and we're starving. So we are going to go on top of our groceries. We're getting pretty low. I think we'd like a nice sandwich for our lunch. So let's go find a supermarket. We have found a nice and big supermarket in Kaupe. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It looks like a very nice place though. Like the rock was magnificent as we came in here for a tunnel. We're gonna go stock out, probably get some stuff for lunch, maybe a couple of bits of snacks, and we'll find a spot. A very scenic lunch spot, we hope. Well, Corey has found this spot. At the very end, hopefully it's okay. We're at IFAC, and IFAC is the name of this crazy tall cliff rock. It looks like something out of like a Greek, I don't know, god filled mythical land. And Corey actually wants us to hike it, I'm not sure, I don't know. Follow along, you'll see if we do. But there's a beautiful beach here, and we're gonna make some lunch while we enjoy this view. Well, we have earned this big juicy baguette. Been wandering those waterfalls. Um, a nice salad baguette. I feel like that is very go to on a trip around Europe. We always make sandwiches. Bread's normally very good. Baguette, isn't it? yeah. Delicious, yummy bread. So we're going to have this and then I think we're going to plan where to sleep tonight because we can't stay here. The place we're at last night where we woke up this morning was really, really nice. I'm considering going back there. But it's a Saturday, maybe there won't be as many spots left. We'll have a little look on Park for Night, the app we're using to find free parks, and we'll update you. Well, all finished our lunch, and we're going to take a little five minute stroll around the monstrosity <laughs> that is IFAC. I'm still not sure if we're going to climb it, um, but I would really love to. It looks so epic. I couldn't even send the drone up legally high enough to see on top of it, it's that high. But this is a lovely little seaside walk along the beach here and you can park for free down at the port so we are going to enjoy it and make the most of it before we go to our parking spot for the night which I think is going to be the same as last night.
We've come all the way to the Costa Blanca to find cats. <laughs> Yay! What's happened? I tried to put him off and he ran back and then it hissed at me. Cat is so... not happy with you, but he doesn't want to leave you. Oh, I think it like, I'm its property now and how dare I try and go. <laughs> we are getting very sore next because we're just spending this whole walk looking up at the sheer cliff face. It is terrifying. There's all these girls up there swooping around. You can't actually access that side, but I think the height goes to the other side where it's more plateaued and kind of like just a gentle incline. Oh, I'm not sure, but this is a really lovely walk. It takes about 10 minutes and you're just going around the coast, around the gigantic rock. It's really lovely. We have been driving around now for about 20 minutes at least, trying to find somewhere to fill up our water, dump our wastewater, and yeah, just no one is really helping. There doesn't seem to be much here in Kelp, Kelpe. Uh, we've been to a couple of caravan sites and they're just saying, no, you can't do that here and we're not sure where you can do it. But I mean, we have done it in you know, other areas, just around here, really struggling. I found a toilet. So yeah, maybe we'll go find a toilet somewhere. We're just not sure on all the rules, but we would like to get some more water because we're very low and I would like to have a rinse later and obviously we want to get rid of our wastewater so we can go for wee wees. Well, maybe we're just gonna have to have a full tank of PP water. We can't find anywhere to dump it. There's some public toilets, but it's like opposite a bar. I just don't feel comfortable doing that. It's super busy. Yeah, I don't know. You don't really walk around with your wee wee container. So we might just leave it. I think we're okay for overnight. We haven't got much water though, but yeah, it's getting really tricky and it's, you know, getting around five o'clock on a Saturday, so we're probably need to find a park soon. The camping site we went to earlier it was saying 33 euros a night, but it wasn't a very nice spot and we'd be finding nicer spots for free, so we might try our luck if we can get the one we went to yesterday, because it was beautiful, but we'll see, it might be too late. Well, we lucked out and we actually have the exact same space that we left this morning. It's like we never left. <laughs> Look at that. White pay when you get this for free. It is such a good spot. And there's actually a few places left. Same as last night. I think because this is a one way and I guess you'd only come here if you were looking on the Park for Night app or whenever or wherever else these spaces are on the app some people have maybe shared because it is such a beautiful spot. But Corey did say to me, if we go back to the same spot, that is okay, but you have to promise to come for a nice afternoon stroll with me. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Please, we're not losing them again. We found what looks like it used to be maybe an old harbour area or marina park, but that looks like a swimming pool. We've stumbled ourselves into a bar. Oops! <laughs> we're getting used to the toilet and we're going to order some food and a drink. Well, that was fun. A cool little bar, a beach bar, next to where we're staying called Cafe Ola Beach Bar. And uh, Charlotte won the dominoes. Yes, I did. But we're heading back to the van now at sunset to have some din dins. Charlotte's cooking. I'm cooking again. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mind. This wind's actually really warm again. It's lovely. Dinner next to the Mediterranean Sea. What a treat. Very, very nice. We shall do that for more often. Right, so it's bedtime now. We're snorkeling down in our little, well, it's actually quite a decent sized bed in the back here. We've got lights with USB plugs, a um, couple of sleeping bags which we'll be using on a hike in Portugal next after this. If we were to do this full time, we'd definitely have a proper bed kitted out with loads of pillows and big duvets. And of course, you have to have some sleeping essentials when you are living in a van. These are mine, lavender oil, eye mask, and earbuds because sometimes it can be noisy 
Well, it is good night from us, guys, so you know what to do. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Night-night.